Welcome back to another Classic Car Studio build video. This is gonna be our last video of all the fabrication on this truck. All right, moving on to the dash in the truck here. As you can see, it's a big dash. We tried to do something a little bit different. We wanted it swoopy and curvy, but yet still kind of a classic metal dash, but something you ain't never seen before. What I did was I made two big pieces that actually have all the shape. Then I cut them in half and welded them together so we have the exact fit. After that, we got that fit down, we're gonna move into making the corner pieces that really tie it into all the door panels and the A-pillars of the cab. So a lot of getting the tools out here, we gotta do a lot of shrinking and stretching going on, make this compound curve going into the corners. Once we got the curve all made, we do a little hammer and dolly, a little hand action to finesse it all up. Like I said, once again, we overlap all the metal and then we'll trim it down and when we, once we put that trim down piece in there, we'll have a butt weld do we do. But once we butt weld it all up, then we go into the metal finishing area, get it metal finished up, and we come back in for a final test fit. If everything's looking good on the test fit, we'll move on to making the gauge cluster. The gauges are already made by Dakota Digital, so it's all pretty cool retro looking piece. I just gotta build a nice little hood that goes with the gauges and complements the dash. Together we have a total package. So I made the top crown and then I made a little actual little rounded almost body line area that fits tight on the gauges. We'll test fit the gauges a couple more times. We'll get it all fitting real nice and tight. TIG weld it all together. Then the next step is to slowly sneak up on the trim fit to actually make it fit the dash as nice as we can. This piece will bolt to the dash so we can take it on and off, get to the gauges for service, plus body working, it, body working it all together makes it a lot easier too. All right, we're starting on the engine bay of the truck. Just like the dash, we wanted that curvy, swoopy, something different. Same thing going on underneath the hood. No square edges, nice rounded corners. Start off with our idea, we're gonna make the whole engine bay out of cardboard. Once we have it all cardboarded up and everybody likes what we're going for, then we'll take the cardboard and use that as templates and turn all that into metal. Once we're onto the metal, there's a lot of stretching and shrinking, getting all the big tools out here. A lot of hammering and dolly and a lot of test fitting. Once we have it all test fitted, we'll trim it all down. We'll butt weld everything with the TIG welder, metal finish it up, and put it in for a few more test fits. Once it's all said and done, it'll be a nice fit like a glove will pop right in and out. At the end of the day, we want our engine bays to look like a jewelry box. When you open the jewelry box lid, all you see is a beautiful diamond. Well, when you open the truck's hood, all we want to see is the beautiful engine. All this metal work here helps create that. It funnels your eye right to the motor and hides all the stuff you don't want to see. Everything that we have to help speed up the process, we're gonna be using it on this. These are some big pieces that we're trying to put a lot of shape to and make it fit as one big unit. Mark's my partner in crime here and he handled the engine bay metal just fine. All right, what's the dashboard without a center console? We're gonna build a center console that kind of flows up into the dash or the dash flows down into the center console. Like everything else, we're gonna start off with some cardboard templates, make the whole, whole console out of cardboard, figure out what we like and what we're going for. And then we'll turn that all into sheet metal. Just like everything else, we're gonna push the limits. We're gonna put a lot of body lines and a lot of shaping into this thing. It's all gonna be painted metal, just like the dash, so all the characters gotta be put into the metal. 
We want to like a reach through or, or a, a grab through kind of design here with some grab handles all incorporated into the design. And those the grab handles will curve right up into the lip of the dash. We're thinking it's going to be pretty neat, but you never know until we get it going. So here we go. So moving on to the front of the truck, we got to build the front valance. We're shaving the bumper and going to try to make it a little more modern, but we want to kind of put a, a little bit of a chin spoiler or almost a chin lip kind of thing here, a little styling statement. And then we're going to open up and put a mouth in there, kind of like a more modern car, Mustang, whatever you want to call it, Camaro, Corvette, sports car feel into the classic truck. We're trying to go for a little swooping, curving, smoothie, uh, modern, retro mod here so all these little things that we do on this is adding to that you can't have that without all these ingredients so mark mark's bending all the metal up here we're gonna make the little chin lip and then we're gonna cut open the big mouth in the front and there's gonna be a lot of hammer and dolly in to bring that lip all around once we have the lip around then we'll start doing some hammer and dolly in on the bench to make the inner structures and inner inner metal of the, of the open mouth. All right, on the grill, we ain't gonna do too much. We're actually gonna take a little bit of the way from the grill, clean her up a little bit. On the bottom of the headlight buckets is a big turn signal. We don't want a big turn signal. We're actually gonna put a turn signal in the headlight. So we're taking those off, but to take those off, we have to make the, the headlight bucket round again. So we're gonna build some little bitty round domes and then weld them onto the grill and it'll make it look like the turn signals were never there. All right, moving on to the exterior mirrors. Every truck has mirrors, right? Well, this truck's full, full custom, so the mirrors are gonna be full custom too. We took some billet mirrors that we bought and then we're gonna modify them heavily to make them fit this truck. We're actually extending the little mount arms and then putting a little sexy curve to them, make them go a little bit fast forward on the door. Truthfully, it just makes the passenger and driver be able to use them a little better from the seat. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.